stem cells, we all know it's cells that can differentiate into different tissue, okay? Whoever created us, for example, know that there will be a problem along the way. This, this machine that I'm in is not here for one day, okay? And the one who created us knew that a long way, there will be problem. There is one thing that he didn't know, where the problem will be. So instead of giving us full repairs, he gave us a three-dimensional printer, okay? So we can print. If you have injury in the skin, just print a skin, okay? Print the skin. If you have in the bone, print the bone, et cetera, et cetera. And this three-dimensional printer, that's the stem cells, okay? So I'm playing a lot in our research lab. We are starting to play a lot with stem cells. Okay, we can take stem cells out, replicate them in the lab and inject it. I'm a great physician of mice and rats. Okay, I can cure everything in rats and mice. <laughs> Unfortunately, in human beings, we are not so strong, okay? We are not so powerful. And there are many reasons for that. One of the reasons is if we are taking stem cells, playing with the lab and injecting, we are thinking that what we are injecting is the same thing that we took out based on the parameter we evaluate. But there are many parameters that we don't know how to evaluate. So we said, okay, if we cannot take the stem cells up and inject it, let's stimulate our own body to generate stem cells. Amazing idea, huh? Okay, so how do you do that? So the main trigger for stem cells proliferation is hypoxia, is lack of oxygen. Once the body sends hypoxia, lack of oxygen, it means that he knows that there's going to be a problem. And then he start, the stem cells start to replicate. Okay, so if we want the human being to, stim, to stimulate the stem cells of a human being, we can take a person, hold his breath, stop his heartbeat, okay, and then he will have stem cells. There is only one problem. <laughs> it's not healthy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So he said again, okay, okay. So, so what the body actually sends? Does the body sense absolute values or does the body sense the delta, the fluctuation? It happens to be that just like in real life, there is no absolute values for nothing, okay? I will feel that I'm rich or poor not based on the absolute value of what I have, based on what my neighbor has. If I have more than him, I will feel that I'm very fortunate. But if I have less, you know, I will feel that, okay, I have, but look, I can have some more. So the same in the body. So what we are doing, I said, let's, let's trick the body. Let's take the oxygen to very high level and then do a fast decline. This fast decline is being sensed by the body as hypoxia even though we have hyperoxy. We call it the hyperoxic hypoxic paradox. So to summarize 15 years of research, okay, which is nice when you're saying that, but along the way you are failing all the time, okay? We have find a protocol that we are taking people into hyperbaric chamber. They are sitting in a chamber like a first class airplane. We are increasing the blood oxygenation, let's say from 100 mercuries to 2000. Okay, it's a yin increase. And then every 20 minutes, we ask the people to take the mask off. So the oxygen is going from very high level back to the normal. And then again and again by a certain protocol. Okay, so this is 15 years of research in one sentence. Okay, and by doing that, we are stimulate the proliferation of the stem cells. And the stem cells are going up gradually from one session to the other. After something like 20 sessions, it's a daily session, we have huge amount of stem cells that are flying all over and are looking for place to settle down. Now we have these stem cells with high oxygen, and then we have the two crucial elements needed to regenerate tissue. To summarize, the brain is a tissue, we are evaluating the wound, see that we are not dealing with necrosis, we are dealing with areas of metabolic dysfunction tissue. And if we have both, we can say that the necrotic will not improve and only the metabolic dysfunction will improve. Going into 
repeated session according to the fluctuation we generate with the hyperbaric. It's not, it's not the chamber that you are going into a monoplace like this, inflatable sac, okay? It's completely different. Generating the fluctuation, stem cells going up, and then the tissue can regenerate. 